All Powers, who I've done videos for, I did a video for their, uh, I think it was a 500, 250 or 500 watt power station in the past. Thank you, Electra. You just blocked all the sun from the solar panel. Thank you. They sent me this 400 watt solar panel. And when I woke up this morning and went out to the deer stand to go hunting, because it's the last weekend of regular hunting season in Texas, there was total cloud cover in the sky. But the sun decided to show itself about an hour and a half or so ago. And I thought, there's not a cloud in the sky now. Perfect opportunity to get that out. Plug it up, see what it's doing. And wow, check that out. Electra, come on, seriously. Okay, right now it's showing to pull, be pulling in 258 watts of solar input. Watch that meter on the left. It's at 86% right now, 87%. It, it was sitting at about 310 watts when I turned the camera on. So I wonder if, uh, of course the sun, the sun is constantly moving in the sky or the earth is constantly turning. Sorry, flat earth guys, but that's just how it is. Are you seeing this, uh, this, uh, this charge indicator go up on the left? 91%. It was at 70% when I started and, uh, and plugged the panel into it. So 248 watts of solar input right now. Do I have anything blocking it? No, there's nothing blocking it. And there's the sun. So there's no clouds in the sky. But it was it was pulling in like 310 watts. Maybe it's slowing down on purpose because hey, look, when it gets it's at 95% already. It's charged 15 no 25% in the last five minutes. That's outstanding. Makes me wonder how accurate that 70% was when I first saw it. And of course now it's going to drop to zero because it shows the battery at 100%. That is pretty freaking cool right there. You cannot complain with that. This is the All Powers R1500 solar generator slash power station with their 400 watt fold up solar panel what some people in the overland world have often called have have i've heard called a solar blanket because it's not completely flexible but it folds up into like a pad so it's not like a rigid solar panel like you put on top of your house either this is the largest fold up portable solar panel that i own so far my largest prior to this one was the fold up 300 watt explorer panel from gigaparts now i will say that this one is heavier and when it's all folded up all the way, it's about twice the size of the 300 watt from Gigaparts. So if you're looking for small and compact, this is probably not it. But if you're looking for Overland, RV, something to put in your car, something to take out on parks on the air even. If you're driving up to your parks on the air activation, even if you don't get the solar generator, this might be a really great option for you. This one also has dual wireless chargers on the top of it, which I've seen before. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay, so you have to turn on DC output down here. And then it uh, it did pop just then. There it goes. You see that 65% my phone's out. So wireless charging for two phones on top of this one. I've had power stations in the past where it had one on top, smaller power stations. This one has two. And over on the side here, we have the input, regular computer plug right there. And this is a an XT60 plug. These cables come with the power station. XT60 plug off of the back of the solar panel itself are these MC4 connectors. So it comes with this cable that goes MC4 to XT60. It also comes with another cable that uh, that's MC4 to, to the round barrel connector, similar to the BioWinnow barrel connector. And then on the right hand side over here, and I really like this because to open these doors, you press on it and it pops out. So you don't have to grab it and pull it real hard. And uh, these are extra ports where you can plug in one or two extra batteries on top of this one and expand the capacity of that. For clarification on the cables, what I forgot was that the power station comes with this bag. Now, I really like it when these companies send bags with their systems because you're going to have cables with a solar generator, with a power station, with whatever. And a lot of companies just that I've that I've gotten solar generators from, they'll just send me a, a cardboard box with the power cables in it. And, you know, you open the car. You don't want to carry around the stupid cardboard box. It eventually falls apart. So you don't have any. You're left with nothing to carry the cables in. This one, All Powers, actually puts a bag in it. Now, this bag came with the power station the cable that i was showing you earlier with the uh the xt connector xt60 connector came with the solar panel so the solar panel is the one that comes with an mc4 to xt60 connector and it comes with the second connector mc4 to various barrel connectors and i'll show that to you here in just a second the power station itself comes with something totally different including the the ac the 120 volt ac plug that I, I spoke of that i showed you the port on the back of the of the unit so let's take a look right now and i'll show you exactly what everything comes with so the power the the cable on the back of the unit is the uh, mc4 to xt60 and this exact same cable comes with both units the the one that's on the back of the the unit right there right now is the one that came with the power uh, the solar panels this one right here came with the power station itself. You can buy these separately, that's why. 
So you can buy the power station and put your own solar panels on it, or you can buy the solar panel and connect it to something else. Just make sure it's got at least a 400 watt uh, solar charge controller built into it. This cable comes with both devices right there. This cable is the multi barrel connector cable that comes with the solar panels. Okay, so you've got the barrel connector that's right in there and then it's got an adapter to go from there. And I think that's the only two that it has, it's just two, two different adapters in there. And there's MC4 on the other side. The actual power station itself comes with that beefy 110, 120 volt AC cable. And it comes with this really cool bag right here. Plus a second one of these, which I'm using on the system right now. So. In other words, you get these two cables with the solar panel and you get an XT60 to MC4 cable plus this cable plus this bag with the power station. For some reason, it took me longer to say that than it should have. So there is the front of it right there. I'm trying not to look into the sun too much. We've got two USB-A 3.0 quick chargers right there. Those are blue, uh, shared 18 watts, and two USB-C PD100 ports right there. It has a bracket around it, so I don't know if these are 100, 100 watts each or shared 100 watts, but either way, that's pretty good. Of course, it's got the cigarette lighter adapter right there, and then it's got four of your regular power plugs that are that is a pure sine wave inverter, AC output, 100 to 120 volts, 1800 watts total, and you can turn that on right there and turn that off right there. On the back, there's really not anything at all. That is a very cool, I tell you what, I'm more excited about the solar panels than I am about the box itself because I've, I've got a lot of these solar generators now and the, the all powers one, the first one I did, it was a 500. It was a 500 watt, that's okay, I've done too many of these. I still have that one, it still works today. I don't use it all the time, but I've used it several times since that video. We were in Galveston when I recorded that video. I'm, re I'm remembering that now, so we'll probably do some overlays on the video here. But had really, good luck and they were happy with the video so they sent this to me so special thanks to them appreciate them allowing me to review this you're going to see this 400 watt panel used in some more videos because the power station is cool i really like it it works well i assume it'll probably be just as good a quality as the the 500 watt they sent me so we'll be using that more in the future as well but that being a fold up 400 watt solar panel we're going to take that into some poda activations i got to figure out what solar charge control because i i was going to use my buddy pole power mini two but that thing limits out at 160 watts and i think the bioeno i have limits out at 300 watts and i think the wanderer the the renegy wanderer solar charge controller that i have which is mppt i think it also limits out at 300 watts i gotta go find a new solar charge controller that'll handle 400 watts of solar power guys